Hey everybody, Matthew here from AnyWarGaming.com with an update for our Blue Collar Heresy role-playing game show, Indie Indiegogo campaign. Well, that's a long title. Anyways, we've hit our goal, which is super awesome. We actually hit it a couple days ago. We were about five days in to our 28-day campaign. We hit our goal of $10,000, so you guys are amazing. I'm sorry I didn't make a video earlier, but I was sick yesterday and the day before. Yeah, it was, just, it was very hectic. I just didn't have a chance to sit down and make a video. Also because we were trying to come up with ideas for stretch goals and I didn't want to make this video until I had some in place. And so we now have some stretch goals because like I said before, $10,000 doesn't actually cover the entire cost of making the show. Uh, but that I was okay with that because we're more trying to gauge how interested people were in something like this. And also it would cover part of the cost. This is a pilot show of sorts for the new role-playing game venture that Mini Wargaming is kind of getting into in addition to everything we're already normally doing. And so I really want to push this part of our business. So I was willing to just, you know, take a bit of a hit on this first show in order to prove that people actually want it. But we have a few stretch goals we've added in to encourage more people to pledge or to encourage people to increase their pledge levels to help us to reach that. Because if we can get up to $20,000, that will pretty much... Not quite, but pretty much cover the cost of making the show. And so we need to give you some incentives so that you want to help out. And of course, if you, forgetting stretch goals for a second, if you haven't contributed yet, all you have to do is contribute 20 bucks and you're able to watch the show as it comes out. Meaning like we film, we edit, we get it out as soon as we can, kind of a rough version and you get to see that before everybody else. Everybody else has to wait till January or February or whenever we get the entire show done and edited and polished intros and stuff like that added in. But at $20,000, we're gonna do something that makes me a little nervous, but I'm willing to try out because people have asked for it. And that is that we'll actually live stream while we are filming. Now, technically we'll already 95% be ready for that because the way we're setting it up is we're actually gonna have a computer in the studio and we're going to be hooking all the cameras and all the audio into that computer. We're going to be using software to record directly to the computer. Rob will be in there switching between cameras so there'll be live camera editing and all of that. So really to go to the live stream, there's not a lot more work but it's it's kind of it's a little nerve-wracking for me for a few reasons. One, it just gives one more thing that can go wrong because we don't do a ton of live streaming so we don't have a lot of experience with it and so we'll know we're going to run into some hiccups. Two, it also forces us us to have to have a schedule of when we're going to film rather than being like, hey, we're going to film on this day. Oh, we're not ready at 9.30, so we'll start at 10.30. And so we'll have to be like, no, we're going to film from 1 to 4 Eastern time, and we'll have to stick to that because people will be expecting it. So it makes the production a little more complicated, um, but I think we can do it. I'm willing to do it if we can get up to $20,000. If you guys are willing to help us cover the cost of the entire show, uh, we're not even talking about making a profit at this point. We're just talking about covering the costs. Then I'm willing to live stream it. Now, the people who would actually see the live stream will be those who have pledged at least $20 or more. Yeah. So you still have to be a backer in order to see the live stream. And we'll still do the other thing where after the live stream is over, we'll edit the video, put it up within the next few days, and you can see it and comment on it. So if you weren't able to see the live stream, no problem. You can see it on demand within a few days after that as well. So none of that is going to change. None of our pledge levels are changing. They are only getting better. So if we can hit 20,000, and right now we're at 10,585 with 126 backers. And you think about 126 backers out of the hundreds of thousands of viewers that we have is a very small percentage. So we don't need a ton of people percentage-wise in order to really make this a reality. We only need the few of you who are really behind this. And the other thing, so we're going to add some intermediate stretch goals in there at the $14,000 level, $16,000, and $18,000 level. Now these ones are going to be ones where we're going to add additional merchandise to people who've pledged at least $100 or more. If you pledge at least $100, you get a Blu-ray of the show once it's all done. If you pledge at least $150, you get the Blu-ray, plus you get a Blue Collar Heresy t-shirt when we are ready to make those. And so if we hit $14,000, regardless of whether we get to $20,000 or not, if we hit $14,000, then anybody who's pledged at least $100 or more will also get a bunch of mini Wargaming dice. We're going to throw in half a dozen mini Wargaming dice into the package that we'll already be sending you with your Blu-ray and t-shirts if you have pledged high enough for that as well. If we get up to $16,000, we're actually going to take a, a really nice picture of the cast in the RPG setting that we'll be setting up. Not in cosplay, we'll talk about cosplay in a second. Uh, and then we'll actually autograph the pictures and send it to people who've contributed at least $100 or more. So basically people who are already receiving a package will throw in these extras as well. And if we hit $18,000, we're actually gonna make blue collar heresy wristbands because you know you want one, right? 
So once again, we'll make it just for the people who have contributed $100 or more. Now a note on cosplay. We got a lot of ideas for stretch goals. And one of them, or quite a few people, suggested that we actually dress up as our um, characters. And we're looking into doing that because I think it's a great idea, but the amount of time it would take to make the costumes, first off, I don't think we'd actually be able to get them done in time for starting to film the show, because we're going to start to film the show early December. And uh, Rob is our costume guy. Very, very, very experienced with making costumes. And he's still doing some research, but he thinks it could take anywhere from... 20 to 40 hours at least to make one costume and he's got to do editing as well he's the one that does all our editing so we, we got to find time to do that and you think about it the cost of that is it just adds more cost in order to have everybody in their costume i wanted to have it so that you know part which through the show we could get everybody dressed up and we could film them all dressed up and then we can make a really cool intro out of it and then when the show comes out at the end all polished it would have that intro we're not 100% sure, so I don't want to present that yet as a stretch goal until we know much, uh, we have a much better idea of, of how that'll work. Lastly, the $2,000 pledge level, of which there are four left, which is to actually create one of the player characters, I'm going to limit that pretty soon. I'm going to shut it down. I don't have a date exactly yet when it'll happen, but we, don't, we basically want to be able to create our characters before the campaign is over, and so I don't want to leave that pledge open because once we've created our characters, and then we, you know, order artwork and possibly costumes if we're going to do that, then I don't want to change the characters at that point. And so we'll have to shut down that pledge. So if you're thinking about doing a $2,000 pledge level to be able to create one of the named player characters, then um, you'll want to grab that soon. I will announce the actual closing date for that. It might be like a week from now or something like that. Just to, I don't know yet when we're going to be creating our characters. Uh, Dave and I are heading off to uh, the UK next week, like this Sunday night we're leaving, we'll be showing up on Monday, and we'll be there all week long at Warham Warhammer World, and so obviously it can it'll probably be after that, but we'll just have to wait and see, and hopefully we'll post more details on Facebook, I keep meaning to, it's just been so busy. So that's what's going on, so if you haven't contributed yet, please consider contributing, just 20 bucks would be great, uh, that way you get our early access to it and you really help us to, to launch this part of our business to be able to get into doing role-playing games, because we do, if this show works out really as well as I think it will, will work out, we'll be doing a lot more role-playing game shows, and not just Dark Heresy, with things like D&D &D and other role-playing systems as well. Thank you so much to the people who have contributed. You guys are awesome. Thank you to everybody else who supports us in any way, whether you're Fault members or whether you're just viewers. You guys make all of this possible. So, let's see what happens. Link below, miniwargaming.com slash blue to go to the Indiegogo campaign. Happy Wargaming.